Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm very glad that you joined me. You know, we're uh, fast approaching uh, Easter uh, on April 20th. Some of you might not have a church to attend on Easter, and I want to encourage you to come and check us out. Come visit our church. Uh, we have a really great church fellowship, and uh, we're going to have a, a wonderful celebration. Also, we have just completed uh, the renovation of our church worship facility, so I'd really like you to come and see it and uh, see what it looks like. We, um, as we approach the time of Easter and remember that Jesus Christ gave his life for you and for me, it would be important for you and me to understand how Jesus Christ looks at someone who um, has perhaps fallen away, isn't walking with him, and uh, sometimes we kind of kind of are in denial. We, we act like we think that that's not happened. Not, we're not going to do that, but sometimes we've fallen away. I want to encourage you to understand that Jesus Christ loves you and he's inviting you to come back. There's a little story in the Bible that says, The Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail and when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. But he said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to prison and to death. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. Some of you out there might have uh, gone through a time of your life where you were a Christian, you were involved in a church, and then you got kind of distracted, got your eyes off Christ, got involved in some other things in this life. Satan kind of kind of had an opportunity to tempt Simon Peter to uh, get his eyes off Jesus Christ, and he became fearful, and he turned away from Christ. I want to encourage you to listen to what Jesus Christ said. He said, I prayed for you that your faith should not fail. If you've ever had faith in Jesus Christ, you're still his. You may have fallen away, you may have gotten involved in different things, but Christ is right now inviting you through me to come back, come back to him. And he says, and when you've returned to me, strengthen your brethren. You see, Jesus already knows you're going to come back. The question is, when? The sooner you come back, the better for you. The longer you wait, the harder it is to come back, the more difficult. I just want to encourage you to come on back to Christ. If you're out there and you... Uh, you uh, maybe done some things and you're feeling bad about yourself, just go to the Lord, ask him to forgive you. He will forgive you and he will cleanse you of all unrighteousness and you can come back and we will welcome you here. We'll be very, very glad to have you here in this church. He said, uh, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to prison and to death. I was thinking a lot of times in our Christian walk, we really think we're a strong Christian. We're going to really hang in there and then we get distracted, we get tempted by something and kind of fall away. Um, you're not alone. A lot of people have done that. We shouldn't do it, but when we have done it, Jesus is still saying, come back, come back home. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will not crow this day until you've denied it three times. Some of you may say, well, I've, I walked away once and twice and three times. Jesus already knew that about Peter, but he had a mission for his life. I don't know if you quite understand this. God created you in his image. You're very valuable to God. He has a purpose for your life. You might think you've really messed up, but Jesus Christ can take your life, my life, anyone's life. If we've walked away and then we repent and we come back and we say, Lord, I'm sorry, forgive me. I want to get restored. He'll forgive you and restore you. So the uh, message I have today before we get toward Easter is, Come on back. Don't wait till Easter Sunday to come to church and slip in and slip out. Come on back and enjoy the fellowship with other Christians. You'll be glad you did, and we'll be very glad you did too. God bless you.